Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. So today's look is going to be a black cut crease with a vibrant blue um, on the lid. I was kind of playing around with some of the things that I actually um, had purchased not too long ago. And what I actually got was the Makeup Forever Pure Pigments. And I got them in the color uh, blue, yellow, red, and pink. Um, I tried these at Sephora and I like absolutely fell in love with them because they are so vibrant and you only need a little bit of product and you could do whatever the heck you wanted to do. Um, I got the three primary colors, the red, yellow, and blue just because if I need to I can mix the pigments together and get the secondary colors, the green, orange, purple, those colors. Um, I have no complaints about this product whatsoever. It blends beautifully, it, you know, packs on beautifully, it is so vibrant that it's just, it's just so beautiful and like Makeup Forever did an amazing job with this product. So that being said, a couple things that I did want to share with you guys in regards to the tutorial. Um, for my lashes, what I actually decided to do is pull them back a little bit. Now these are the Kara Lashes. Um, they're 100% human hair, they're the number 43s, the ones that I use almost all the time because they're my favorite. Um, I purchased them from Shop Miss A. Um, if you haven't already, then you can actually go and check out my Shop Miss A haul, and I will place that in the description bar down below. So please enjoy this tutorial, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. So the first thing that I've actually started off with was moisturizing my face after I cleansed it. And I've used the MAC Studio Moisture Cream. Uh, this is just a mini version of it. Um, next to prime my face, I am going to use my Too Faced Hangover um, Replenishing Face Primer. And it looks like that. So I'm just going to apply about two pumps all over my face. setting and I'm gonna go ahead and work on my eyebrows so as you know I always do my eyebrows with the Anastasia dip brow pomade in ebony I'm just gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera um, if you haven't seen it already I already did a brow tutorial so I'll link it in the uh, description bar down below and you can check out my brow tutorial okay so now that I've started off and gotten my brows done so I'm actually gonna move on to my eyes so I'm gonna start off with my eyeshadow primer and I'm just going to use the e.l.f. mineral eyeshadow primer um, just because it's good and it works for me. I actually prefer this one over my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. For some reason my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer keeps consistently creasing on me but e.l.f. has been coming through for me lately which is pretty awesome considering that it's only a dollar. Okay. So once I've done that, I'm going to go on and I'm going to put my eyeshadow base. So the base that I'm actually going to use is going to be this white paint stick by MAC. Oh, it's like that. This is by RC Cosmetics. It's just a um, dome flat brush. Smudge brush, and it looks like that. It's really, really tiny. Get some product on my brush, and I'm just gonna kind of create a slight cut crease. This is by e.l.f. This is just a regular blending brush. It's just dumb, dumb shape. 
and right above where I put that black, I'm going to start blending out the top. same brush that I used to blend out my black, I'm going to take that color and I'm just going to go over the black here just to give it a seamless blend. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same brush that I dipped um, into my paint stick. I'm going to go back into my paint stick, that white one, and I'm just going to go ahead and pretty much outline where I want my cut crease to be. brush and this one's by RC Cosmetics. It's just a small flat eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to use my Makeup Forever Professional Pure Pigment and this is blue. And um, this is in the color number 16. gel liner in number 77 which is the black one I'm sure you guys have all heard about this and how amazing it is how we all want to marry Inglot for inventing this wonderful product <laughs> and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some mascara and this is the benefit their real mascara the lashes that I'm actually going to be using are my Kara lashes obviously because I use them all the time so I'm going to be using these and these are 100% human hair, they're in the number 43 and these are my favorite lashes. I probably use these in almost every tutorial but honestly they give you such a nice full natural look that it's just oh, it's so, so gorgeous. 
Okay guys, so I'm back with my lashes on. Now I'm just gonna work on my under eye. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm gonna take this pencil brush and this is the pencil brush that I use to kind of sketch out the black. And I pretty much still have um, product on my brush. So I'm actually just gonna take it and use it on my lower lash line. And I'm pretty much stopping right where my um, in the middle of my eye. of mascara and I'm pretty much just going to take my lash comb and I'm just going to go ahead and move on to my face so I'm going to go ahead and take the color what is this? In the Nude by Essence and it's just a lip liner. going to use this MAC lip gloss and this is in the color Coquette. And this is what Coquette is like. It's just a really nice pale pink color. It's more like pinky nude. final look with the bright blue eyes and the black cut crease with the nude lips. 